We're here today to look at a 60-second foot exam for people with diabetes. Unfortunately, a foot is lost every 30 seconds, so taking a minute to assess for the high-risk foot is a very worthwhile endeavor. About 85% of lower limb amputations start with a foot ulcer, and persons with diabetes have 20 times the risk of these amputations, and unfortunately 80% of the amputations are preventable. After five years, after a first amputation, 50% lose a second limb, and 50% are dead, so the prognosis is worse than breast cancer or prostate cancer. Foot screening in persons with diabetes will pick up 50% to 30% of individuals at a high risk. Now Ryan from the World Bank pointed out that in developing countries, foot screening is both easy to do and will actually influence outcomes. The 60 second foot screen starts with a history. If you've had a previous ulcer or a previous amputation uh, from history, this will increase the risk. So any yes answer to any of the various stages of this screen will lead to a higher risk. In the second group, we look at physical examination. In examining the foot, we're looking for any deformity that may be associated with a person with diabetes. The fact that neuropathy is present can often be demonstrated with upturned toes and a prominence of the metatarsal heads, but this does not count as deformity. The second thing is to feel for fetal pulse. And if a pulse is present, as it is here, there's roughly 80 millimeters of mercury pressure or higher, and this is enough to heal. Positive tests would be the absence of a pulse. Next, we examine the foot. We're looking for an active ulcer, and we must always examine the bottom of the foot, an ingrown toenail, and looking at the toenails to make sure that there is no tissue reaction in the nail folds. Always make sure that you cut the nails straight across and they come up to the distal nail fold. We're also looking for blisters, and we're looking for callus. A callus means pressure, a blister, friction, or shear. We're also looking for a fissure. This is a linear cut with a dermal or deeper base, and again, we do not see any of them here. The last part of the test is to do a monofilament exam of 10 areas on the foot. Do you feel this? Yes. We will then put the monofilament over the first. Tell me when you feel it. Yes. 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 Third and fifth toe. First. Yes. Third. Yes. And fifth metatarsal heads. Yes. The two sides of the foot. Yes. And the heel. As well as the dorsal surface of the foot. We count up all the no answers. In this case, there are two. So we really have a score of only two out of ten. We need four or more out of ten for a yes answer. So in summary, any yes answer indicates a positive test. First of all, previous ulcer, previous amputation. On examination, deformity, the absence of a pulse. Then we look at the bottom and dorsal surface of the foot for an active ulcer, an ingrown toenail with thickened tissue reaction of the nail fold, Callus means pressure, a blister, friction, or shear, a fissure, but a linear cut with a dermal or deeper base. Check the heels for this. And then the final stage is to make sure that there is not a loss of protective sensation. We do first, third, and fifth toe, first, third, and fifth metatarsal heads, two sides of the foot, the heel, and the dorsum. Four or more negatives is a positive test. Any positive test should be referred for further counseling, patient education, and treatment. We know a person with diabetes in a one-year period has about a 2% incidence of foot ulcers. 
If a person has peripheral neuropathy, this incidence increases to 4.5 per year. If a person has peripheral vascular disease, it increases to 13.8% per year, or relative risk of greater than 9%. The last group, the highest risk, is any combination of four factors. Peripheral vascular disease, peripheral neuropathy, history of a previous ulcer, or amputation. Any two of those four criteria has a 32 0.3% incidence of an ulcer each year, or translated to relative risk 52.7. A simple 60-second test can be used to diagnose a high-risk foot and to prevent both foot ulcers and subsequent amputations, of which 80% are preventable. We encourage you to implement this 2012 version of the Simplified Diabetic Foot Ulcer Screening Test. Thank you.